हेलो एंड वेलकम टू लर्न विथ हेमास क्लास माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम बैक विथ ट्रेजर चेस्ट नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड आईसीएसई बोर्ड सेकंड पोम स्किम्बल शैंक्स द रेलवे कैट बाय टी एस एलियट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द एंटायर पोम सम स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑलरेडी रेड दिस पोम और डर्न दिस पोम इन दियर प्रीवियस स्टैंडर्ड्स बट सम हैव नॉट डर्न सो आई एल बी डूइंग इट एंटायरली ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग विद एक्सप्लेनेशन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एल बी providing you with the question and answers from the evergreen workbook which i'll be preparing myself i have not i am not going to take any help because there are no course books yet okay so before going ahead i always tell you that please read the box part which is there before the poem in your textbook so i'll read the box part quickly and then start with the poem explanation so thomas turns eliot uh, was born in missouri he was born in missouri but later on he shifted to England and then he took a British citizenship over there. His childhood also he suffered from some uh, disease called as hernia, which made him physically unfit to socialize with his peers. And because of that, he took to books. And when he took to books, when he started to read, he never stopped. He went ahead, went ahead. At the age of fourteen, he wrote his first poetry. Okay. Now he read so many books such as. um tales of savage life the wild west or mark twain's thrills many books of different different styles different uh, thoughts of different writers so he has read many books and eliot's friend robert sencourt uh, he has this one friend robert sencourt he has once commented that eliot when he is sitting uh, ne- next to an open window you will always find him curled inside a big book he will always find himself curling inside a big book now here when we talk about his education education he has taken um, he has actually received education from many universities many places he have uh, studied and among them was the smith academy the boys college preparatory division of washington university and he had studied a lot he studied latin ancient greek french german many languages he have learned and when he was 14 as i said he learned to write poetry and it was the first poetry under the influence of edward fitz uh, fritz gerald uh, which who translated rubiyat of omar khayyam he is known for his poem the love song of j alfred prufrock he has written this a uh, poem he is known by that he has also written a book named as the waste land which gave him renown uh, critically renowned he was he ma- he became famous because of this book and many seven plays he have written out of which murder in the cathedral was very famous now if uh, you have read english rose last year in 8th grade you must have come across a poem called as macavity macavity is, is again written by eliot and it's also where it's a poem where the cat is the main character now t s eliot has a different fond uh, he has a liking towards cats and uh, he also likes to give them various names many names and he, many times he himself have taken some name that is uh, you can say na pen name or something he has taken a name and he has written the letters to his god children in that name okay so he has written many poems in which cat were the main characters and he wrote the poems in 1930s this kind of poems and uh, there were different names which were given to uh, the cats such as old possum this is the name pen name that he has taken when he wrote letters to his grandchildren and there were some peculiar names which he gave such as jelly lorem petty paws whiskers george push dragon these were the names given to the cats by him so he was a very uh, a great cat lover you can say if you all must uh, there may be some of you who may be um, uh, animal lovers pet lovers who may be having cats as pets so he is such one such lover of a cat in such a manner that he has written lot of poetries um, on cats where cats are the main characters now Kimble Shanks is a character in Andrew Lloyd Webber's 1981 musical Cats. If you see this musical Cats, there the song is sung by a character which has depicted or which has 
dressed up as a cat makeup and dressing everything as a cat and singing the style of singing is also as of a cat so uh, t s eliot's book was very much inspired by these people and they took up this cat as a main character the character is portrayed the character of this uh, poem skimble shanks it is portrayed as a bright energetic orange tabby cat now this cat in this poem is a bright orange a uh, tabby cat tabby is very sturdy huh? who lives and works on the night mail now night mail is a train where this cat lives there and it works on the night mail and that means and in this poem it is said that this cat is an has an absolute authority over the working of the night mail without the cat's permission the night mail won't take up all the passengers all the crew men all the driver bagman everyone have to listen to the cat okay now i'll start the poem skimble shanks the railway cat there is a whisper down the line at 11:39 when the night mail is ready to depart saying skimble where is skimble has gone to hunt the thimble we must find him on the train can't start all the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughter they are searching high and low saying skimble where is skimble for unless he is very nimble then the train uh, then the night mail just can't go at 11:42 then the signals nearly due and the passengers are frantic to a man man then skimble will appear and he'll saunter to the rear he's been busy in the luggage van very amusing entertaining poetry this is where it is said that there is a scene a railway a scene is there a railway station is there where all the people are standing and whispering murmuring talking to each other in slow voice in low voice and the train the night mail is ready to depart it is 11:39 already but everyone is waiting for skimble where is skimble no one knows everyone is searching for skimble and they all know that the night mail cannot go ahead cannot proceed cannot start without uh, skimble's green signal so skimble has to be there but where is he he is nowhere to be found and here the exaggeration is shown that how important the skimble is by this line that where it is said that all the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughters now what station master's daughter has it with it so just for entertainment it has been said that guards porters and daughters station master's daughters all are searching for skimble so what the time is it's 11:29 see the first line it is an internal rhyme it has an internal rhyme throughout the poem you will find rhymes which rhyme internally say uh, line 39 this two words rhyme over here so internal rhymes throughout the poem you will find it so the night mail is ready to depart but nobody can find skimble everyone is searching skimble everyone is searching high and low high and low whether of high post officer or a low post servant whoever it is they are searching for skimble and they are saying that unless skimble is not very nimble not very nimble means unless skimble act very agile that is or his move quickly nothing can happen he has to move quickly skimble has to move very quickly he has to be very nimble then the night mail just can't go so unless he is he acts quickly the night mail won't be moving so at 11:42 then the signals nearly due so now it's 11:42 how many minutes have passed 11:39 11:42 three minutes have passed now all of a sudden at this time you know that time is there whenever the on the perfect time skimble will appear from somewhere so now he has appeared from where he has appeared and the passengers are frantic passengers are frantic that is they are anxious anxiety has uh, started in them grown in them why it anxiety has grown in them because the train is about to start the time is due and the skimble is not seen who is about to give the green signal and therefore it is said that they all the men are frantic to a man that means they are kind of shouter where is skimble where is skimble find him the train has to go then skimble will appear and he'll saunter to the rear so he will walk slowly like uh, in um, peace in a relaxed way he will walk very slowly 
and he's been busy in the luggage van and he's been busy in the luggage van uh that means he was there in the luggage van when checking everything and from there he came slowly in a relaxed manner because now you know it's time is there now i will reach on time and i will do it he gives one flash of his glass green eyes and the signal goes all clear and we are off at last for the northern part of the northern hemisphere now the skimble has arrived and he gives the flash light of his green eyes and now the train got the green signal and now it's all clear that is the train can move ahead and where the train is heading towards the train is heading towards the northern part or the northern hemisphere you can say far end towards the north now the next para you may say that by and large it is skimble who is in charge of the sleeping car express from the driver and the guards to the bagman playing cards he will supervise them all more or less down the corridor he paces and examines all the faces of the travelers in the first and the third he establishes control by a regular patrol and he'd know at once if anything occurred he will watch you without winking and he sees what you are thinking and it's certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and riot so the folk are very quiet when skimble is about and on the move you can play no pranks with skimble shanks he is a cat that cannot be ignored so nothing goes wrong on the northern mail when skimble shanks is abroad aboard now here this cat skimble shanks is given so much importance that he is the whole and soul you can say of the train unless and until he says something the thing will not happen on the train and he keeps a check on the entire train on all the people on the bagmen drivers guards everyone he keeps a check even the passengers he can see what the passengers are doing and he can understand or make out what the passengers are thinking so you may say that by and large it is skimble who is in charge of the train of the sleeping car express because it's a night mail night mail everyone sleeps so that is why sleeping car express it is said now whatever the maybe the driver or the bagman or the guards whatever whoever is doing skimble is always keeping a watch on them so down the corridor he paces and examines down the corridor means in the entire train he walks and he keeps looking around whether everything is fine or no nothing wrong should go in his presence so therefore of the travelers in the first and the third so it is not only in the first class that he travels and watches the people he travels in the third class compartment also first class compartment third class compartment and he watches all the faces of the people passengers ha ah, and he establishes control by a regular patrol regular patrol means regular checks like no one be can be at ease when he is in charge everyone will have to be alert on toes and everyone have to work on time no one can be lazy that is why he keeps a regular check that is patrol and he know at once if anything occurred and if anything wrong is going on he will come to know immediately he will watch you without winking he will not wink his eyes he will watch you he will stare you he will come to know immediately if anything wrong is going on why he will not take any notorious actions he will not take any riots no joking no laughing loud nothing be quiet be serious be calm he will watch you without winking and he sees what you are thinking now here some what dubious character we can understand make out of skimble shanks that he will also make out what you are thinking so this is again i said dictatorship that is he is the total in charge and he will keep control of all the things and he will whatever he decides or whatever he says or whatever he does will only matters nothing else will matter so one theme you can say this thing so he will not entertain or not approve any hilarity or riot any hilarity means loud uh, laughing and jokes and all riots and folk are very quiet and all the people around are very quiet when skimble shanks is there and when skimble is about and on the move you can play no pranks you cannot do any pranks on anyone when skimble is around on the round he is a cat that cannot be ignored so he is such kind of a cat that you cannot ignore him are who is he skimble let us do our work whoever he is we don't matter 
no you cannot do that way if he is around you have to be very careful so he is a cat that cannot be ignored so nothing goes wrong on the northern male so if he is there nothing can go wrong on the northern male why because he is in charge and he will see to it that nothing wrong happens no one jokes no one laughs loudly no one play any pranks so these are all his under supervision so when skimble shanks is aboard aboard means when he is on the train now next paragraph oh it's very pleasant when you have found your little den so now you are the passenger now you are the speaker is the passenger okay not the cat the speaker is the passenger so one of the passenger who is a representative of all the passengers on the train he says that yes it is very pleasant it is very nice that when you have found your little den little den means your place in a train you all must be having reservations when you uh, travel in a night train or any long distance train you have to make reservations first so when you go to your seat which you have reserved and it's very nice very pleasant then you also feel very nice with your name written upon the door now see what kind of services are given the name is written on the door that this seat belongs to this person and the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet berth means a place uh, the chair or the seat where you are going to sit and sleep when the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet on in that seat there is a newly folded sheet kept over here when we go to ac trains go in ac trains will always finds new sheets are always given new bed sheets and there is not a speck of dust on, on the floor and it is said that it is so neat and clean the entire den the place the reservation the seat it's so neat and clean that even on the floor there is not even single dust or speck of dust you can say single speck of dust there is every sort of light you can make it dark or bright now Uh, adjustments of lights if you want l- bright light you can make the adjustment if you want dark you can make the adjustment that is switch on and switch off light there is a handle that you can turn to make a breeze there is a handle that you can turn to make a breeze that is the fan or ac it is related to fan or ac if you feel if you are feeling hot on the train you can switch on the fan or ac whatever is there breeze na air and if you are feeling cold you can switch it off or you can reduce the uh power also you can say so these are the facilities are huh, provided in the train then there is a funny little basin you are supposed to wash your face in now there is a basin also now this is an exaggeration basin we never find um in particular seat ha huh, the entire compartment one compartment will have one or two basins so your every seat is having a basin so there is a funny little basin it's funny in one particular seat having a basin is funny so it's uh, you can wash your face in and a crank to shut the window if you sneeze so if the window is open and you are feeling cold then there is a knob which you can uh, remove and close the window okay crank crank is a knob or a bar or a handle you can say which you can uh, use to open or shut the windows and then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very brightly and then there's a guard who looks in very politely and the guard asks you what kind of tea you want to have so these are the facilities or services being provided inside the train in the presence of skimble shanks okay so he says do you like morning tea weak or strong that means the facility which is taken care of or given to the passengers that even the morning tea they wish that whatever the passengers taste is according to their taste the tea is offered some people like strong tea some people like weak light tea right so so he is asking but he has to ask it politely why because kimble is standing behind to see how his behavior is so do you like your morning tea weak or strong but skimbles just behind him and was ready to remind him for skimble won't let anything go wrong because skimble cannot let anything go wrong skimble is behind him just to remind him that he has to be polite well mannered person in front of passengers and when you creep into your cozy berth when you creep into your cozy berth means when you sleep you cover yourself with the bed sheet that is move softly in your comfortable 
seat and pull up the counter pane pull up the counter pane that is the bed sheet which you pull up over your body and ought to reflect that it's very nice and you have to feel that it's very nice you have to show from your face that you are feeling good and ought to reflect think that is it is very nice and people should come to know from your looks that you are feeling nice this is the main thing where skimble shanks when he sees the people the it should reflect from their faces that they are fine they are very happy with the services being provided to know that you won't bothered by mice and they now reflect that it is very nice why it is very nice because now they are sleeping in peace over here at rest comfortably in their berth and there are going to be no mice to trouble them in the night you can leave all that to the railway cat because these mice you know cat cats always runs behind mice so the cat you can leave up to the cat cat will take care of all the mice so the passengers are not going to be troubled by the mice so all these things a passenger is telling a passenger is speaking and the passenger is telling how they are at ease on the night mail how pleasant feeling they have on the night mail the cat of the railway train because the railway cat is there skimble shanks now the last stanza students we are on the last stanza in the watches of the night he is always fresh and bright every now and then he has a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while he is keeping on the watch now he is the in charge of the train the night mail and therefore he has to stay awake to see that everything is fine nothing wrong goes on the train and therefore he has to stay awake and not to awake he has to be fresh and bright also and to remain fresh and bright at the night time one has to take tea or something to remain alert and here the amusing fact is in the tea in the cup of tea he is taking a drop of scotch it's really amusing like you you are in charge you have to take care and you are uh, taking uh, you are in taking liquor which is again wrong so this is something wrong is shown over here uh, about the in charge but he is the in charge he can do whatever he wants even if it's wrong he can do but the passengers or the other crew members or the other people cannot do anything wrong he is keeping a watch on that so here something uh, opposite is going on so only stopping here and there to catch a flea so he is stopping only here and there to catch a flea also while the all the passengers were sleeping you were fast asleep at crew and so you never knew so the passengers don't know what has happened when the night train everyone is sleeping it's a night time everyone is sleeping very comfortably in their own seats and when any station comes when any junction is there crew when any junction has come when the train halts at the station skimble shanks is always seen walking up and down the station but you will not know why you will not know because you were all asleep throughout the night and you were sleeping all the while he was busy at carlisle carlisle is a place so he was busy there at carlisle at place he was walking up and down he was looking all around again when he greets the station master with elation with elation very excited very cheerfulness he meets the station master over there he is very happy very elated you can say proud also of himself that he is doing such a great job and he is at such a uh, great position so he said when he meets the station master that means he is a uh, known to all even the station masters know him very well and they also talk to him but you saw him at dumfries where he speaks to the police but then at one place even you must have got up at dumfries dumfries is again a name of a place where uh, you can say name of a town over there where he speaks to the police now he also has contacts with the policeman that as he is talking as if if there is anything wrong he will come to know or if police is finding out searching out something he may be of help to the police it's like that if there is anything they ought to know about na if police wants to know about anything skimble is there to tell them about it when you get to gallogate there you do not have to wait gallogate is again the name of a town now when you get there there also you don't have to wait for skimble shanks will help you out uh, help you to get out why you don't have to wait because skimble shanks is there and he will help you to get out from there he gives you a wave of his long brown tail now when you are getting out at the gallogate 
skimble shanks will give you a wave wave from his tail he will give you a wave okay he will move his tail as if he is trying to say you bye bye and i will see you again that is he is a very friendly host which says i'll see you again so he waves his tail what is what does the what is the meaning of the uh, uh, tail which waves it says that skimble is trying to say that i will see you again i will meet you again you will meet without fail on the midnight mail so without fail when you will board the midnight mail you will meet skimble shanks the cat of the railway train so here our poetry ends explanation ends okay now the poem explanation is over now let's go towards the theme of the poem what is the theme of the poem the first theme you can say see you can look at this poem from two angles one poem one angle is that you believe that there is nothing to learn from this this is just for an entertainment purpose just for an amusing amusement purpose and it's all uh, nothing philosophical is there or nothing uh, mo no moral is there in this poem nothing we learn from this so it's just a time pass one but from the other angle if you look out you will see that there is a person who is in charge or a cat who is in charge of the train and the cat looks after each and every single thing that happens on the train right from the uh, start of the train that is giving signal to the train to departing to all to departing all the passengers when they get out throughout he checks that means here one at one point it is also uh, the line says that the cat tries to know what you are thinking even what you think that also the cat will come to know so here is this kind of thing is something what a dictator does right a dictator is a kind of person so this poetry when it is it was written during the time of the world wars and therefore maybe this can be a theme behind so you can say where cat is used as a symbol as a dictator one thing cat used as a symbol for a dictator so these two uh, themes we can take and go ahead okay now talking about the lyrical part we say that it's a narrative poem right it narrates the entire episode of the night mail how the people are and how the cat is so it's a narrative one and if rhyme scheme we talk about see the passages the paragraphs the stanzas which we say they are not um, equal they are irregular also and they are unequal of unequal length the lines are basically they have internal rhymes mostly they have internal rhymes and um, metaphor you can say cat as a dictator metaphor you can use and uh, the rhyme scheme basically you can say it's a b uh, c b this is the rhyme scheme which we can say so overall the poem explanation is done and after this immediately in within one or two days i'll come up with a question answers video till then stay safe stay secure thank you and if you like the poem please do like and subscribe the channel and also share it with your friends thanks a lot bye bye